besides getting a look at certain guys, is there anything you want to see in the team these next three games that you want to see more of? Well, I think over the next three games, we'll have more of our roster, <laughs> you know, opening night roster, playing moving forward. So, you know, we've touched on some of the things we've got to be better at. Um, you know, puck management is number one. Over the three games, we've given up eight scoring chances off of D-zone coverage, which is pretty good, and 27 off the rush, which is incredibly alarming. And a lot of it is just puck management and changes and things of that nature. So we worked on that today. What is that? I assume you're going to split the goals tomorrow, or have you decided one way or another? You'll see both of them. I don't know what the time separation will be. Yeah, we're still seeing what we're going to do with that. When are you good to go? Yeah, we will play tomorrow. You'll get a look at um, Fox with Stahl, or are you interested to see how that works? Yeah, we we'll to see how a lot of things work. That's certainly one of them. So what, what, is, he, what does Stahl do for, I mean, he's played with a lot of young guys, whether it was Pionk or Tony or, or now this. How does he help those guys come? Well, he's got a great personality. He's a guy that you trust, especially as a young player. He's been through an awful lot in this league. And I think our guys certainly respect him and look up to him. And the areas that some of these young guys need to hone their skills on, I think Stalzy does a good job in those areas. So I think he can help him in a lot of ways. You mentioned that you haven't had your full roster out there for any of the preseason games. It's obviously silly to make too much of what we see out there. Yeah. but. Um, but you touched on the turnovers, some of those rush chances. I mean, being able to review the film, I mean, has anything stood out to you? Is that going to be a big focus as you close out camp here? Yeah, I think guys are trying to do too much. I don't know whether guys are trying to do too much to make the roster or guys that think they are going to be on the roster are trying to do too much to crawl up the roster. So that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for people to do things that are going to allow us to have success collectively and play winning hockey. And we haven't certainly done enough of that over the last two games in particular. Does uh, Philip Hill come in as an incumbent here, or is it does he need to earn? He needs to make the team. Where is he right now? He's in the process of making the team. Does he have to be a, a top six guy on this team? For I wouldn't say so, no. Probably top nine, more than the top six. So one of, one of your centers, unless they move to the wing, right, becomes a fourth line. Right. I'm, I'm you know, talking yeah. about the three guys. Right. Yeah. That's a scenario that you're okay with. You think it makes you a better team, or you're not? You're not sure. You know, it's funny, Larry, because there's so much to balance here. You know, what I mean, where we're at. You know, how close are these guys to being where we need them to be for us to have success this year? Is it better to put a guy on the wing? The player, the personality. There is a lot that goes into that. We have the luxury of either moving Strom or Vladdy to the middle depending on where all these guys are at. All three of those guys have to make the team, and they know that, and they understand what they're going to have to do. Obviously, if they all do what they're capable of doing, we feel comfortable having three centers of that age, then and we think it gives us the best chance to win. We'll do it. If not, we'll probably, if all three of them are playing well enough to be here, we'll probably have to move one of them to win. So there's a, you know, there's a lot of moving parts to that. Anxious to get the couple back out there, and I know you've seen him in practice. How's right. he looked? Uh, he's looked good, very good. You know, he's driven. He's coachable. 